Hello everybody, I'm Arunas Kuginis from Teltonica Operational Marketing Department. It's great that you join us today in this webinar. Before presenting today's topic, I want to ask one question. Have you ever exceeded speed limit? It's no need to answer for me. Just think how often it happens all around you when you are on the road. And today's webinar topic is about speed limiter solutions. Over speeding, it's one of the popular topics in the world how to prevent or avoid, and what consequences are of breaking speed rules. Like you understood, Teltonica has a solution, and I want to share it with you. Today I will present shortly about purpose of speed limiter, why drivers exceed speed, and what consequences are. On second part, I will present our new speed limiter MSP500. And we will have an overview of technical features. If you will have more questions, you can write them via email. It will appear in the end of presentation. So let's talk about the reasons of overspeeding. What motivates drivers for exceeding the speed limit? Most drivers openly admit that they more or less regularly exceed the speed limit. When drivers are in a hurry somewhere, trying to be on time, they naturally move faster and do not always think about the possible consequences. These situations are rushing people for making accidents. Another group of drivers love to drive fast. I think you noticed that some drivers do not keep a safe distance to other vehicles and try to overtake in any way. I have a friend who is very calm, never shouts or do rational things, always thinks before doing something. I would say he's very cautious, but when he drives a vehicle, he's becoming another person. He's driving fast most of the time, over speeding, and when he reaches an obstacle, I mean a slower vehicle, he's trying to overtake no matter what. And of course, there was a result. One month ago, he got into a small accident of over speeding. So next, group of drivers has a very serious reason to drive fast. They are bored, they want to get excited, and of course, they can get into accidents. I explained why drivers exceeding speed. Now I will tell what type of drivers mostly breaking speed limits. I remember one story of mine. A long time ago when I was younger, I drove with my girlfriend to a resort. The mood was so good, I was telling funny stories, we were laughing and the road to the resort was under construction. And of course, with a speed limitation of 50 km per hour. And suddenly I saw a car in front of me. It was much slower, so I started to become nervous, concentrated and started to search for a spot to overtake. And when I got my chance, I did as fast as I could. And I was happy for just 15 seconds. After that, police stopped me and I got a ticket. So imagine how I felt after that. Going back to driver's types, it is possible to distinguish different group in relation to speed preferences. Young drivers prefer to drive faster than elderly people. Male drivers prefer to drive faster than female. And driving for professional purposes, drivers prefer to drive faster than for private trips. According to my story, I met two of three criterias. I am male and I was too young to think about the possible consequences. Let's move on. We associate a high speed with being able to reach a goal or target much faster. But most of the time we do not think of consequences. Looking at figures, we can see how far the vehicle will stop if it travels 80 km per hour. And we see that the stopping distance will be over 32 meters and the response time of 2 seconds will be about 45 meters. So we can see that stopping distance is 76 meters from reaction till the final stop. And let's compare to the difference between driving on 100 km per hour and braking. The difference is almost 30 meters. Imagine, you're going on 100 km per hour 
and pedestrians crossing with people is in 15 meters. How do you think what casualties will be? And diving on 120 km per hour, difference is more than 60 meters. So you understand what tragic consequences can be. Also, I want to show comparison with heavy vehicles and how the braking distance at high speed is affected by a fully loaded truck. Here you can see comparison with and without a cargo. As you can see, with the cargo vehicle stopping distance is much longer, almost double. And another comparison when vehicle speed is twice bigger with the cargo. You can see that stopping distance is four times longer. In this video, you can see that the truck is going too fast on a turn and the motorcycle driver was really lucky. Many countries of the world have regulations for speed limiting in commercial vehicles and it is mandatory to install speed limiters, also known as speed governors. The following countries which have regulations are in Africa, we have Kenya, Ethiopia, Nigeria. In Asia, such requirements exist in Philippines, Malaysia, Hong Kong and India. In North America, such requirements is already in Canada. And in Europe and UK, it's already announced that speed limiters will be mandatory for new vehicles from 2022 and from 2024 in all existing ones. I talked about the reasons of overspeeding, consequences and regulations in the world. And now I want to present our speed limiter MSP500. MSP500 is based on FMB family product platform with all useful features and accessories. This is 2G connectivity device. It can be used in Europe, partly in Asia, Africa, partly in South America. It has waterproof casing, protects against dust, humidity and water sprays. And speed limiting functionality, which allows you to limit the speed of a vehicle. Let's go deeper into benefits. RS-232 connection interface is used for connecting LLS fuel sensor, RFID reader or pause printer. You can connect various external devices and low energy sensors via Bluetooth. MSP500 has integrated buzzer. It notifies the driver when he will approach 5 km till the speed limit is set and it is configurable. For faster and easier installation, MSP500 has integrated relay. It could be connected to the electronic throttle controller which controls the accelerator pedal or to the solenoid which controls the fuel supply. Voltage is from 10 to 30 volts. High capacity internal battery allows MSP500 to stay in deep sleep mode for up to 2 days and device will be available for that period. And pulse counter for connection to speedometer. Now let's take a look at speed limiter functionality. The key functionality of MSP500 is speed limitation. Speed could be detected from speedometer via pulse counter, from GNSS or from OBD device via Bluetooth. The speed settings can be configured in Teltonica configurator. Like example, we can set speed limit to 90 km per hour when the speed reaches 85 km or in other words 5 km to the set speed limit, the driver receives a signal from buzzer. When driver reaches the set speed limit of 90 km per hour and continues to press the accelerator, automatically relay is on and start to use one of the solutions. You can use electronic throttle controller, which controls the accelerator pedal. When reaching the set speed limit, the accelerator pedal will be inactive till the vehicle speed will decrease. And for other solution, 
you can use solenoids to reduce fuel supply. On this scheme, you can see MSP500 solution lodge. From left side, you can see RS232 connected to POS printer. Also, I want to remind that we can connect LLS fuel sensor or RFID reader. Also, we have USB for computer connection. To get speed data, we're connecting pulse counter to speedometer. Other ways to get exact speed is to use Genesis or get data from OBD device via Bluetooth connection. And the main part we have on the right side, internal relay, which is connected to electronic throttle controller. And you can see it controls accelerator pedal. It's easy to configure its speed limit on Teltonica configurator. Like example, you can set speed limit 90 km per hour. And I will show you how to do it on Teltonica configurator. We need to, to go to the features and we need to find our speeding. We need to set high priority. 90 km per hour is already set. And we need to, to choose a speed source. We're gonna take from Genesis. And we need to enable DOT1 relay. And that's it. You're all set. And don't forget to save it. And that's it. We are all set. With the speed limiter MSP500, we have many opportunities. By controlling speed, we reduce possible accidents. As a result, you don't lose vehicle, cargo, and your delivery will be on time. And the very important, we are taking care of a driver for which we created speed limiter. I would say it is an insurance for accidents on the roads. With speed limiter, vehicles can avoid additional service, for example, engine repair, and will meet timely maintenance with planned cost. Also, fuel consumption is one of the components for delivery cost. With speed limiting feature, there will be no possibility to overspeed and fuel usage will not be increased of bad driver behavior. All over the world, countries fighting against overspeeding and some of them already implemented regulations, which helps to save lives and continuous deliveries without interruption of accidents. And according to statistics that we gather it from our surveys shows that almost every sixth of Teltonica tracker use overspeeding functionality. So we can truly say that the demand of speed limiters devices is big in the market. Teltonica tracker MSP500 is our new tracker with speed limiting functionality. It is easy to configure and install. It has all needed functionality for speed limiting and tracking vehicle as well. For speed limiting, you can use integrated relay with additional electronic throttle controller, which forbids to overspeed. Using manual GFNs feature, you can manage to set different speed limits for various areas. Buzzer helps to inform driver for reaching speed limit. For additional information, please visit our webpage and you will find all needed information. If you want to try features of MSP500, you can order sample right now. If you're working with Teltonica already, you can contact directly to salesperson. If not, please send request via email info at teltonica.lt with the subject MSP500 and our sales team members will contact you in one business day. Thank you everyone for listening to our webinar. I hope it was interesting and useful. If you would like to get all upcoming news from Teltonica, please subscribe our newsletters. And see you next time.